she clogged. So even though it is possible to unclog a nozzle, I'm going to show you how to replace it because it's pretty easy, it's cheap, and you get a nice clean nozzle on there. So follow along with the video and I'll get you with a fresh nozzle. If you can help me help you, it would be nice if you subscribe and like the video and let's get into this. First thing you want to do is pull this rubber cover off of the nozzle. Turn the printer on and we're going to want to preheat it. All right, the printer's already up to heat. You're gonna take the smallest wrench that came with your printer and you're going to loosen the nozzle. And we're gonna take this all the way off. I'm gonna do it off camera because it's just easier to film that way. But we're gonna take this off, be very careful. The nozzle's hot. At the same time, I'm gonna turn off the printer so that it'll start to cool down again. So here's the brand new nozzle, nice and clean. And here's the old one. It's pretty disgusting and mucked up. So that's why I recommend replacing these. You're supposed to replace them every once in a while anyway, depending on how much printing you do. And this kit that I got here on Amazon, it comes with plenty of the 0.4 nozzles which is standard for the Ender 3, but then it also comes with a variety of different sizes. So if you have something larger that you wanna print, you wanna print it faster, but with less detail, you could step up your nozzle size, or you know, if you want something very fine, you could do that as well. I highly recommend this kit. I will put it a, a link to this in the description below. All right, I'm gonna take the new nozzle and I'm gonna thread it in. Just be careful, depending on how fast you're doing this, um, the heater block on mine is still very hot. There we go. It's hard to do on camera. And then I'm going to heat up the printer again, and then I'm going to tighten this up. All right, printer's heated up again. Let's give this a tighten. There we go. All right, we have two steps left. Like I said, there's two steps left. One, you gotta put this rubber sleeve back on the heater block. That's self-explanatory. I'm waiting for my printer to cool down, so I'm not gonna show that. The second thing I wanna mention, and the last thing, is that if you have a BL touch on your printer, please set your Z offset to be higher than it typically is. And if you have no BL touch and you manually level your printer, Relevel your printer after you install a new nozzle. It's possible that the length of the new nozzle varies slightly than the stock one that's on the Creality printer. And I just want to make sure that nobody damages their bed. So relevel, reset your Z offset, and then you know make sure everything prints as normal, and then your nozzle swap is complete. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any ideas for anything you want to see, let me know.